where there's a transmitter building. You can see all the burnt grass around it. I mean, the fire got right up to the building. I mean, it is fire versus, fire versus concrete and cinder block. Smoke's still off in the distance. So they're still fighting this fire, hay bales. You can see the hay bales are still smoldering. But the building, I mean the fire got right up to the building. I don't know how that tree survived, but it did. Bucket of paint didn't didn't have a hope. Didn't stand a chance. There's a heliax cable. We'll come back and look at that closer in a minute. AC one AC unit got a little charred. Oh, did you hear that? AC unit just kicked on. And it's the one in the camera, the one you're looking at right now, just kicked on. <sighs> that fire got right up to the building. touching this some kind of a power a power line electrical line feeding something but it is cooked I'm not touching that grounding strap but what I'm curious about is this is this cable it looks okay so far, but down here, it melted some of the, some of the sheath. This tin was right on top of it. This tin was right on top of it and it melted right here. You can see how that melted into the conduit. And I mean, I mean into the sheath of the, this Heliax. I don't know what's under here. It doesn't look damaged, but who knows? I'm sure somebody will come out and take a look at what's under the dirt there, but maybe the dirt protected the cable itself. See if I can put that out before I leave. There's not much else. There's not much else around. I can. I mean, that can burn. Wow. Looks 
looks like we caught everything in in a nick of time because if that fire would have made it to that building this old schoolhouse might have been a whole different story that schoolhouse would have ate up that pole which i know is still creosoted and that pole has two dishes on it that are i think are ours Station in Corpus. These dishes down this pole, across this wire, and into the station. I mean, into the transmitter site, into the transmitter building. And then out that cable I showed you earlier, into that tower. Our listeners, I'm gonna walk out there. See, they'll let, see how see how close they'll let me get to it. Gave me permission to take a look. Sorry about the wobbly camera. Oh shoot. Well the building survived. But I don't think this cable survived. You can see that's that's copper. I mean it's okay. If nothing inside was damaged, this might have survived. But it will probably be replaced. You see, this is the shield, the, the sheathing on the outside, the plastic to protect it. But this is pure copper. Uh, but it's probably okay, probably works, but it's probably going to be replaced. tower was on right now would not be able to walk up to it you would be able to feel it burning in burning your insides cooking your insides yeah, that's just the ground wire fire must have just stayed low to the ground because it's burnt up maybe about a foot but everything about a, everything above a foot or so seems to be okay hmm. 
what a day. That does power or what, but yeah, there'll be some repair work. Fire's not completely out. I must just start back up again. but firewood. the devil lost this one. Put this on the put this on that fence.
spider made it. a big fire expecting anything this big but then again there's nothing blocking the wind fence new some new cabling the right crew there's some, some spare cable in there good for scrap metal that's a loot that's uh, copper
fires touching the, the concrete foundation. But it left a clear path to the entrance. I don't have a key, I left the station without a key, so I don't know what's in there. Signing off.